A pedigree shows the phenotype of a specific trait for every member of a family in a family tree, and this would be a typical pedigree chart. By convention, the square represents a male, the circle represents a female, a line between the male and female represents marriage, and any lines branching from that represent offspring. So let's say that this pedigree chart shows curly hair, or it's examining the trait curly hair. And so any individual that's colored in blue exhibits curly hair. In other words, they have curly hair. And any individual that's not colored in does not exhibit curly hair. Let's simplify things and just say that they exhibit straight hair instead. So to read this pedigree chart goes something like this. In the first generation, the father has curly hair, the mother has straight hair, and then they have five offspring, three of which have curly hair, two of which have straight hair, and then these offspring grow up to have children of them, them, their own, and we see, again, three grandchildren that have curly hair and six grandchildren that have straight hair. So this is all represented by the colored in um, individuals versus the not colored in individuals. So from this pedigree, we can also tell that curly hair is a dominant trait. And why do I say that? It's because if you look at all the couples that have a curly haired individual, they have children that have curly hair. So in this pairing, in the first original pairing, in this pairing, whereas the one couple that has both straight hair, all their offspring only have straight hair. So it seems like those that have straight hair just don't have the allele for curly hair. So it's most likely that curly hair is dominant and masks straight hair. So this is how you analyze pedigree charts to determine, using deductive reasoning, whether traits are dominant and recessive. And it's the same way you analyze pedigree charts once you come up with more complex patterns of inheritance. There are also particular cases, um, mainly with recessive alleles, where individuals can be carriers. And a carrier is just someone that has um, the allele but does not express the allele and this can be shown through a half colored in individual so it might be a circle that's half colored in or a square um, that's half colored in and so again these individuals have the allele but don't express it so for example color blindness is a recessive trait and in a pedigree chart for color blindness individuals that um, can have the allele for colorblindness but are not colorblind are represented as so. And carriers are not always shown, so be careful when reading a pedigree chart. Um, just because it doesn't have half-colored in individuals does not mean that it's a dominant trait. So this is how you read pedigree charts, and pedigree charts are useful tools for analyzing patterns of inheritance.